Hey, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how your social security benefits is calculated. So, um, basically, in order to calculate your social security benefits, you need to know very uh, two very important thing is first is primary insurance amount PIA. You usually hear this a lot. Uh, the second one is the average index monthly earnings is Amy. So you not really hear this one that much because this one is mainly used to find out the PIA. So let's take a look. First of all, what is your PIA, right? PIA is called primary insurance amount. The is the benefit a person would receive if the person elects to begin receiving retirement benefits at his or her normal retirement age. So you can see PIA is the monthly benefit at your normal retirement age. So on the your social security statement, they usually tell you what is your PIA which is the monthly benefit at your normal retirement age. So at this age, the benefit is neither reduced uh, for early retirement or increased for delayed retirement. So basically, once you have the PIA, you can calculate all your, uh, um, all your social security retirement benefits, no matter you, you can uh, take your benefits early or you can uh, delay your retirement. So all those benefits are calculated based on your PIA. So that's something is very, very important to you. So as I said, is determine your social security benefits. So PIA is at your benefits at your normal retirement age. Then determine your disability benefits. So on your social security uh, statement, they should tell you your disability benefit is equal to your PIA. Then determine the spousal benefits. So if your spouse is taking, taking spousal benefits, it's 50% of your PIA. So that's very important. Then some other benefits, uh, associated with it. However, in order to calculate your PIA, you need to calculate AMI first, right? What is AMI? AMI is average indexed monthly earnings. So you would say, well, you, your, you know your social security benefit is calculated based on your, you know, your life learning, uh, earnings, right? So how those thing to uh, your life earning use the to calculate Amy. First, you index all the life earnings to reflect the change in the general wage inflation. So I'm going to show you example. So you index the life earning first. Second, you select all the highest 35 years earning. Then you add all the highest 35 years annual earning together. Then you divide by 420 months. That's how you get Amy. Let's, let's see an example. This example is on the Social Security website. So basically show you how to uh, calculate Amy, right? Uh, however, I cannot have the entire, um, you know, the sheet on this page. So I'm just, uh, you know, use a beginning and the end uh, for just to illustrate. So you can see there's a case A and a case B. So this is two different uh, parts, right? So you case A is born in 1960. Case B born in 1956. So uh, you can see this is a historical earnings of the case A. 
then this one is his difficult normal earning, right? His difficult earning without index for case B. You can see then the case A, you have the the index is a little different. If you see index is a little different because they're born in different um, year, I guess. Anyway, so this, so you, the index, they have a special index factor. So you use the factor times the normal earning, you will get a, get a indexed earning. So if you are now indexed earning, you should know your early earning is usually always less than their, you know, recent years earning because of the inflation, right? So you should know that. So you have to index the first, then select the highest 35 years. Otherwise, your highest 35 years always is a recent year, which is not true for the indexed earning. You can see indexed earning is your highest, uh, you know, 35 years, maybe your early, you know, uh, 10 years or, you know, so you, you, you should know that they will index it first then select the highest 35 years earning. Then you add the highest 35 years earning together, you get this number. Then you use this number divided 420, then you get Amy. So you can see here, uh, the case A, Amy is $4,643 per month. This is monthly earning. Then you can say the same thing for case B is the highest indexed 35 years earning. Case B is much higher than divided by 4, 000, uh, uh, 420. So would get a 10,141. So you would, you can see case B has a, you know, the annual earning much higher than case A. So case B is, Amy is much higher, it's like a 10,141. So this one is your index, you know, monthly earning, right? So this one is not going to be, is it going to be used to determine your PIA? Then let's see. Then calculate the PIA from Amy. So PIA bending point, you need to know that was called bending points. First one is 1,024. Uh, $1, Second one is 6,172. This is given Social Security website for 2022. So let's see how they use the bending point. This is a PIA formula. For an individual who first become eligible for old age insurance, uh, benefits, which is your retirement benefits, disability insurance benefits in 2022, or dies in 2022 before uh, become eligible for the benefits, his or her PIA will be same as this. 90% of the first 1,224 of his or her average index monthly earning. So you can see average index monthly earning is Amy, is Amy, right? So first 90% of the first 1,024 is counted towards your benefit. The 32% of you all are Amy, of your Amy, is um is from of your Amy is from one thousand is between one thousand twenty four then zero six thousand four hundred seventy two. Those are this is um only thirty two percent count the towards your benefit of your Amy. Then the last is fifteen percent of your Amy's anything over 6,472. So, okay, let's see the case A and the case B from previous slides. Case A, you know the Amy is only 4,643, right? Then we use the Amy to calculate the PIA. 
So first is, uh, you ninety percent of the first bending point is one thousand and twenty four. So you would get a, a first is nine hundred twenty one dollar. Then the second uh bending points, the things this case A, uh didn't receive the second bending point, which is six thousand one hundred seventy two. So because the Amy is less than the bending point, so you would use the Amy four thousand six hundred forty three minus one thousand twenty four. So those amount is thirty two percent are counted towards your benefit. So it's one thousand one hundred fifty eight. Your PIA is add these two together. So this case A PIA is a two thousand and seventy nine dollar, which is the case A's social security benefit at case A's, uh, you know, for retirement age, right? Then the case B, uh, much higher, Amy. So the first bending point, uh, for the case B, uh, the same thing with case A, you get nine hundred twenty one dollar, because the case B reached the second bending point. So the thirty two uh percent between of this is one thousand six hundred forty seven is counted towards the benefit. Then the last amount you can see is fifteen percent is counted towards to the benefit. You can see even case B get much higher, but because the later the higher uh you know Amy was counted less towards the, to the benefit, so you would get less. The case B is PIA. You add the three together, you would get the, uh, three thousand one hundred sixty-three is case B's, uh, social security benefit at the normal retirement age 